Rafa Benitez admitted he was deeply disappointed after crashing out of the League Cup at the second round stage against championship outfit Nottingham Forest. The Magpies exit at this early stage meant United crashed out in the second round for the first time since 1990 during the Jim Smith era. Challenging in the Premier League remains the main priority for Benitez but despite the fact Newcastle's squad lacks quality and the powers that be should also be accountable, it was still the Toon boss who faced some difficult questions after the game. Here's the full transcript of his post-match press conference. Did you take a risk by making 10 changes to your team Rafa Benitez? No. I'm disappointed because we couldn't win, but after creating I don't know 10 chances, maybe, clear chances we were doing what we had to do in terms of attacking and pushing and going to the final third, and we have to improve in this area because that's where you make the difference. Why did you make so many changes RB because you play two days ago and you have to play two days after? At this stage of the season, the players have to be ready for playing in the cup against a championship team. If you cannot, then it means that something is wrong. I thought we could do it and watching the team, watching the number of chances that we had, I think we deserve to go through. Does this show that the squad is not strong enough RB? It means what I have said so many times if you are going to go through in the cups, you need to use the squad. If you cannot, it means that you have to improve. Should the players be disappointed with themselves RB? Yes, for sure. Everybody was expecting that we have to beat Nottingham Forest, but at the same time, they are doing well in the league, they have some confidence, but the game was more or less as we were expecting. They could pass the ball, they could move the ball, but we had the chances. I don't remember too many saves from Darlow and I remember a lot of chances that we didnt take. Did the prove the squad isnt strong enough RB? No, it proved that we have to improve in some areas. What was the extent of Rolando Aaron's injury RB? I think it was cramped, so I think HES OK. Live blog player ratings match report Rafa Benita's verdict Can you draw any positives from the night RB Rolando, some play from Murphy, the work rate of Saive, Mitrovic, even Diami, Barlaza. A lot of players were trying and you have to take that as a positive. Still, as I said before, to have more accuracy in the final third and in the box can make the difference. Do you have any updates on incoming transfers RB? No. I don't have official news. How do you keep spirits up after three defeats RB? We knew that to going into to the Premier League, a new division, a new competition, another level, you can win games or you can lose games. In this case, we lost this one. It was a game that we were expecting to win. We didnt do it and we have to be ready for the next one. I have said that this team will improve and I am convinced that we will do it. What about outgoing business? Anything on that RB? We have a couple of players in conversations with different clubs. But today, still nothing. It seemed a Jong linked with a Jax expected to leave RB. He is one of the players that is talking with another club. We are waiting. Only 10 days ago Mike Ashley said that this club were strong enough to challenge for a cup and stay in the Premier League. It didnt feel like that tonight RB. Yes, it's true. Do you feel that anyone put themselves in shop window RB? I think so. In terms of the number of chances we created, I think so. Some players may be played better, some players not at the same level. But for some of them, we are talking about the championship and they proved last year, we won the championship, so they are good enough for that. What is the message to the fans after three defeats RB? The fans know we are not happy with that, so we will try to change things in the next game. Can you understand why they are disappointed RB? We are disappointed.